brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton, for October 8th, 2021. And the title of this message is How It Is and Always Will Be. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are taking everything into consideration whenever we deliver to you one of these transmissions. We know that many of you feel that we are speaking directly to you and that is because we take all of you into consideration as individuals and as the human collective consciousness that you are. We know that these are very challenging times for all of you, not just because of what you are going through individually, but also because of what you are experiencing globally and in your communities. You will find solace in hearing from beings like us, and that's a good thing. But most of the time, we are just telling you what you already know. And it's the confirmation and the synchronicity that you are already responding to. The reason something that we deliver to you resonates is because it's already inside of you, waiting to be accessed. We give you activations, not only through these messages, but also through the energy that is transmitted through the channel. And of course they're referring to Daniel. He is a transmitter for us and you are lovely receivers who have decided to open yourselves up to something that feels right to you. We want you to know that the reason we speak to you directly is because we know how good you really are. We see your potential and we know that all you need at times is a little bit of validation to continue on with your beautiful journeys. You brighten your light every time we connect with you and that brings us joy. We look up on you as co-creators and all of this, and we always will. We know that you have as many answers as we do, and that also brings us into a state of joy and hope for humanity. But ultimately, what we feel is more than hope. We have a knowing that you are moving in the right direction, and that enough of you are receiving these messages to make an impact on the human collective consciousness. We know that we are not reaching the majority of the population, and that is fine with us. We will continue to reach out to those of you who are resonating with us and our vibration. And we know that you all spread the high vibrational transmissions through your acts of kindness, through your compassion and your support of your fellow humans. We are working together as a network to make the ascension process for humanity joyous and filled with ease. And even better than that, we want to help you all enjoy your journeys, even your present moments, and see yourselves as the beautiful beings of light that we always see you as. Please do keep asking us for what you want to know and what you need, and we will continue to deliver because we are part of you and you are part of us, and, and that is how it has always been and how it will always be. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Here's another really inspiring message from the Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton. His website is danielscranton.com. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. And you can always find Daniel's fine work on the sananda.website or voyagesoflight.blogspot.com. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and it's always my pleasure to bring you these delightful messages from the Arcturian Council. Mm -hmm.